In this video, I'll walk you through how to create and publish a podcast on Substack. First, make sure that you're signed into your Substack account. You'll then navigate to your publication dashboard where you'll select the podcast tab. You'll then select get started. From here, you'll choose an audience list for your podcast. You can choose to nest the podcast in your publication or create a new section. We recommend creating a new section for your podcast for added customization. This will allow you to control how your podcast appears on the homepage and give your subscribers the ability to customize what they get notified about. Once you've made your selection, click continue. If you chose to create a new section, you'll now be prompted to fill out some information about that section, including subscriber settings. Under subscriber settings, you'll see the option to add new subscribers by default. If checked, anyone who subscribes to your Substack will automatically be subscribed to your podcast as well. If you leave that box unchecked, new subscribers to your publication will have to subscribe to your podcast separately. You'll also see the option to copy your email list. If checked, people who are already subscribed to your Substack will automatically be subscribed to your podcast. Once you've made your selections, click Create Section. You'll now select whether you'd like to start a new podcast or if you already have a podcast on a platform different from Substack, you can select Import an Existing Podcast. Now it's time to add a few details about your podcast. Don't worry, you can always edit this information later on. For your podcast title, be clear and descriptive so it'll be easy to search for on Substack and other podcast platforms. Next, fill out your description to tell your listeners what your podcast is about. You'll then select categories. Platforms like Apple Podcast will use these to sort and recommend your show. You can also upload podcast artwork. We recommend a square image that's at least 1400 pixels wide. If you'd like to add a podcast tab to your publication, be sure to check the box next to podcast tab. When you're finished filling out details about your podcast, select create podcast. Now that you've created your podcast, I'll walk you through how to create a new episode and share it with your subscribers. First, you'll want to navigate back to your publication dashboard. On the home page, select New Post. From the drop down menu, click Audio. On the draft audio post, you'll have two different options to add audio to your post. If you'd like to begin recording audio directly onto the draft, just select Record. Or if you already have your audio recorded, click Select File to upload your own audio file. We support the following audio file types, MP3, WAV, and AAC. In the Audio Settings tab, you can upload a new audio file. You can also search for and add guests by their Substack profile to let your listeners know who's appearing in the episode. If your podcast episode is for paid subscribers, you can consider adding a free version. This will allow free listeners to get a preview and hopefully be enticed to become a paid subscriber to hear the full episode. An AI-generated transcript will automatically be created for your podcast episode. When listeners play the audio, they can follow along by reading the highlighted text in the transcript. Listeners can also seek to parts of the audio by clicking the transcript text. You can upload your own transcript in the transcript tab. You'll also have the option to edit or disable the transcript from appearing on your post. You'll now return to the draft body of your post. What you enter here will appear as the text of your post. If you'd like to add a background image to the podcast player, select the image icon on the player and upload an image. When you're ready to publish, you'll select continue and you'll be brought to the publish page. Here you'll be able to select the audience for your post and who is able to comment on the post. You'll also choose if you'd like to distribute your episode to the podcast RSS feeds. This allows listeners to access your episode on external podcast players. 
At the bottom of the publish page, you'll be able to select the delivery method for your post. If you check the box, your post will be sent as an email into the Substack app. If you leave that box unchecked, your post will only be published to the web and will not be sent out to your subscribers. Now it's time to publish your podcast episode. Double check all of the settings you've selected on the publish page, and when you're ready, select send in the bottom right corner to publish your podcast.